Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. We are continuing to working with our RCC building. And in the last tutorial we already finished uh, the, our exterior view. Uh, it's under the finish, let's say it's not finished yet, but we have already some uh, look of our building. So as you know the facade is a uh, face of our building and we already have it. So the next uh, part what we're gonna do today, we should start to create some internal things. Of course you cannot see anything here because why? Because we have the floor here. If you will select the floor you will see here is your underlay. Don't forget about that. If you don't see anything on your plan, uh, the 50 or maybe 70 percent it's your floor uh, close everything. So uh, what I prefer to do? Actually I prefer to do on my view just switching off the floors. It's not the mm, mistake, it's okay, because we have the view range. We not will see anything under this level, because of our view range, as you can see, it's based on our level one. Don't, don't worry about that. Of course, if your view range is going from the level 20 to the one, you will see everything once you will switch it off your floors. Okay, this is just small tips. Here we have, uh, as you can see, a uh, plan of our first level. Uh, we have some uh, really nice stuff here, like as you can see, internal facade with the, some, uh, some angled uh, facade, but we not will do that uh, because it will taking the time, maybe later on. As you can see, uh, here I cannot see, you, you can see it, but it's not so properly. Uh, this is facade, as you can see, with the a bit angle. Maybe we will do it later on. But uh, uh, beside this facade, as you can see, this is straight one. So we will create only that one. We will start from the f walls because we don't have any walls right now. And uh, let's let's finish the first level first, and after that we will go to the typical level number two. Why I'm calling the typical? Because we have the typical levels from the level two to level four, from the level for to level six and on and on okay so let me I will go to the wall uh, and right now I'm doing the mistake because I don't know the uh, width of uh, this wall let me I'll check it first here is the ruler and yeah, let's see the approximately the okay this is approximately uh, 400 yeah I think it's 400 millimeter let me will go to the wall let's check do we have the 400 400 millimeter. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Actually, I cannot find it. 400 millimeter, but we will use the 300 millimeter. The reason is why we will use the 300 millimeter because we have the decorative part from the one side and the another side. So by 50 millimeters, it's pretty much, but uh, we will leave as it is. Let me. I will start to draw, uh, and as you can see, the first problem my column because uh, column cannot be like that. It go should be going from the center. Let me I will do that. I will use the. Actually, yeah, it should be by center. It's not on the same. It's not on the center. Let me I will use the align key and I will make it on the center. Now it's correct. Yeah, now it's much correct. And here it's everything correct. And just one column. It was mistake. It's okay. Let me I will draw the. From the not to not from the face, from the center core center line to the center here. We get here our wall and let's say a bit extend it till the middle part of our column. Let's see our uh, wall going from the level one, it's right, uh, but the top constraint it's level two. Let me find the level two and now it's more correct. And as you can see, now it's automatically uh, joined with our. Uh, columns so we don't have any problem if you want to see how it looks like you can select for example three of these elements and click on this selection box and you will see only this part let me I'll show you the one tricky thing like this and as you can see our wall going to the level 2 this is much correct but here's our floor it shouldn't intersect um, uh, wall and floor this is not right you should what to do? You should select your wall and here up uh, uh, beside the top uh, offset you should say this is minus 300 millimeter. Actually here the, um, here the uh, size of our floor. 
our floor is also 300 mm as you can see and of course we have offset from this floor 300 mm and now this is much correct so as you can see our our wall going uh, inside to the our column this is correct and we don't have any problem there and we don't have any problem here is as you can see now connecting right let me go back to the level one and now we can create all these walls actually here we have uh, really thin walls as you can see because we have here the two meeting rooms and between two of these uh, wall two of these meeting rooms i think we have a really thick wall uh, let me find some wall like for example 200 millimeter it will be actually 140 millimeter it will be really enough and again let me i will do this um, settings first as you can see height it's not unconnected this is going to do the level 2 and after that chain okay offset minus 300 millimeter but I'm not sure this is offset from the uh, high from the top offset or no let me see oh no this is offset by z direction so we shouldn't use it let's use it here minus 200 millimeter and let's connect again center to center of course you can do it uh, straight away from this center but I'm doing it like that it's okay and we get uh, the our hatching for the our columns too it's not actually a mistake we will we will change everything later on for now you can leave it as it is okay so here we have really uh, interesting part here we have a lot of the different uh, designers uh, solution as you can see here the wall here the wall here is our uh, shaft as you can see but uh, as i said in the first tutorial this is not copy of our Mm, this is not copy. We we're not trying to copy this project. We're just trying to find uh, the solution how they did it. And let me will do that one by one. Actually, to better be to connect it here, because here the mullion as you can see. But we will connect it some somewhere here. Actually, here it's really huge one. Here it's not 200. Here it looks like uh, even 500 millimeter. But I'm not sure. We will leave it as it is. Later on, we will change it. Or let me will do like this. This will be much correct, but it should be more thickness than we have it right now. And let me I will create the one more wall. Yeah, it's going here. Till here. And like this. We're not creating any doors right now. I think you will you can create it by your own. Here it's uh, 200 millimeter. Why I'm using only the generic walls because uh, I'm not will try to create, for example, um, some interior side, interior part of this object. Again, I don't know. Ah, here is okay. Here uh, I know this is a shaft, so it means uh, we will use, of course, the walls here. It's not any other thing here should be because here is the shaft, and uh, here we have some uh, column as you can see. But I don't have this type of the column, so we leave it as it is, without this column. And let's connect it, one, to the other one. <laughs> Actually really hard to understand what's going on here without proper plan. Okay, here is the mm, toilet. Yeah, here is the toilet, as, as you can see. And here is the something like a shaft or something like that. Actually, it's not shaft. I think here yeah, it's uh, something holder holding there. Let me we'll use the hundred mensory. Not actually mensory knots. Oh, let's use it. Uh, and we change it to the finish exterior, like this. Much much better. Okay, so we did it. And as you can see, here is the something like ah uh, yes, here is elevators. Yeah, it looks like elevators. And here you should create some walls too, because we don't have it right now. But before we will do that, let's create the, here the storefront. Because we have here the storefront, later on we will change the panels and we will use for this storefront these panels. I will show you later on this trick thing, and we should spend all tutorials for that I think. But right now we will just create the storefront. Let me change the first level to the second level, okay, and let's create it's still here we did it 
But before we will continue, what I will should say. Oh yeah, it's pretty it's pretty same the mm, distance for our mullins as you can see. It's exactly on the right position. So no need to change anything. And let's create here too. I will create it here too. And mullins here also as you can see on the right position. Okay. So as you can see, we already the creating the first level. Of course, uh, as I said, you cannot create by this uh Oh, yeah, one thing we will change it right now. Let me we'll make it a bit smaller like that. And as you can see, here's the storefront. It doesn't look like original one. Here, the original one, as you can see, is going on the heights. It's okay, we should be divided by four. Let's select it. We can easily divide by four. And as you can see, beginning, beginning, uh, it's not actually here four, I'm for sure. It's one, two, three, four, five. Where is the five? Horizontal one. One, two, three, four. Here is the four. I will go to the edit type. Uh -huh, here they fix the distance as you can see. And here is the maximum space. Mm -hmm. Let me, I will uh, create the new type. I will duplicate it and I will say this is first, first level store front actually it's not store front it's the for the glass uh, in meeting room but we will use the store front the vertical one it will be okay but fixed distance by horizontal one it's not okay we will change it to the fixed number let's say okay right now and as you can see now we are able to change it fixed number fixed number by two It's really strange. I'm changing by two and we have the three, but it's okay. One, two, three. But there we have one, two, three, four. But actually it's not the same size. Here the smaller, here is the biggest one. So we can do what? We can select it and we say from the beginning and we will get this result. So if I will say this here is the three, the biggest side, biggest side, biggest, smaller. So now it's correct. As you can see, now it's much correct. So the same thing here. Let's select it, and here is easiest way. We just choose, we just choose to change to the first level storefront. Okay, and it's also the starting from the beginning. Starting from the beginning, but we have some difference here. Oh, number three. Now, as you can see, much right. And here, of course, we have the door. You shouldn't forget, uh, just unpin this part, select this panel and change to the door, unpin it again and change it to the door. But we don't have a door right now, I think. Let me check. We don't have here the door, just let's leave it like that. And here we have also door. Unpin it, select the panel and unpin it. Later on we will place here the door. Okay, as you can see, half the part of the first level we are already under the finish. Now we can start to create the other part on this side. Let me will go to the level one and the almost everything the same. Actually, you can what to do. You can select this wall, for example, and just mirror it and you will get the same result as you can see. Actually, here we have the small wall, as you can see on this part. Let me will do that. Here the small wall, which one we can use. Actually, uh, I prefer to use the generic wall, but I don't have small generic wall. Let me will use 200 generic wall and I will connect it right now like that. Later on, we will change it. And of course, what we can do, we can select this wall and mirror it, mirror it always. And as you can see, we get it. Here, the different distance, it's okay. And the storefront, we will do the same thing. Let's select it and let's mirror it. And as you can see, we get the same position and with the same Mullins distance. Yes, and right now, let me, I will create the wall again. And wall, as you can see, has different situation than in the other side uh, with the walls. Here we have the two meeting rooms. Here we don't have the two meeting rooms. And let's create the walls. Here we again have the shaft as you can see. 
And as you understand, if we have the, have the shaft, we should use more thicker wall, like 300 mm. Let's use it. I will use the align key. Oh no, it's okay, it's alright. I'm using now uh, CS. CS, uh, it means uh, the create the similar. It's uh, really saving your time. Later on, you, for example, can change the type of the, your mensary uh, for your wall. Or you can use arrows too. For example, right now I'm using the arrows key and you can easily change position. Let me, I will select this part. And as you can see, here is the C, uh, CV. It's calling the create similar. CS, I mean, sorry. Let's use it. One, two, three, and four. And let's create some of part of this one. Like this. Like this and like this. Here we have something like the storefront, but I'm not sure. And here one more type of that. And the biggest wall. Let me I will select this one. Just tap key to use it to select it and let's mirror it and as you can see this part also here and just a bit extended okay so we finish already the all the first level of course it's not so accurate it's not totally accurate i understand it but i just showing the, the you techniques how you can do that uh, you will say okay you connecting the walls with the columns but it's not uh, connecting perfectly because your wall is going inside to the columns yet yeah, that's right later on i will create the some simple script which is will allow to join all the geometry together right now i don't think you should spend the time to for example join this wall this wall with these columns i don't think you should spend it time for that don't you don't don't spend it you have a lot of the work here to finish it so uh, later on we will use just a script and it's really helping to you okay guys i think uh, this uh, this is a finish for you for now for this tutorial uh, if you can uh, finish all this level it will be really fine in the next tutorial we will continue with the uh, other level and the other level will be typical one and we will learn how we can use the groups when uh, for example uh, you creating the groups you can just uh, copy it on the other levels but you should be, be really accurate when you doing that in the next tutorial we will talk about the groups and the typical levels of in this building thank you guys for watching and see you next time